gone and here at home. Rolling well, it's all men's stories. And I'm here with Terry Smith and his Texas coffee cup and the song which is I can't read it. It's called Mickey's Gone. Mickey's Gone, yes. In some of our previous discussions, I've I keep told thinking you, of Mickey Mouse when you said that. Yeah, uh, it's no, Mickey Mantle. Mickey, I know it was Mickey yeah. Mantle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mickey, um, <laughs> Mickey Mouse is still around. <laughs> it's Mickey Mantle. It's gone. Yeah, you're you're you're, you're just a super super baseball fan. So this. Yeah, I am, and I was not a super Yankee fan, as the song <laughs> explains. You could not be. I was a Brooklyn Dodger fan. Well, how could you not be a Brooklyn Dodger fan and not hate the Yankees? But but on, on the morning, or soon after Mickey Mantle died, I was sitting and having my morning cup of coffee and working on a song, actually, obviously, and, and putting all that back together and thinking what a, a hero he was to, to young people in this country, despite all his problems that came forth later on in his life and his alcoholism and all that stuff, which he acknowledged which he got past and finally acknowledged and, you know, said to the world, I wasn't the role model that I could have been. Mm -hmm. But he was still a hero. Mm -hmm. he, uh, and I got to thinking about that. Um, I was privileged to grow up in what is considered the golden age of baseball. And not only that, the golden age of country music. So my two loves were during that that golden age, which is I do did most of my growing up in the fifties, and uh, that had a sense of innocence to it. Yes, you know, and um, and you realize as the sixties came along, the assassination of Kennedy, of Martin Luther King, of of Robert Kennedy, the Vietnam War comes along and disrupts everything. And right on the heels of that is Watergate. And then in a baseball sense, several years later, the strike that ended the season. And, and you know, I was thinking about the death of Mantle and it's not just the death of him that I am grieving this morning as I had my coffee. Mm -hmm. It's the death of of that period, yeah, that, that time, that time, yes. that innocence. And there was an innocence on the other side of it. You thought you were going to be nuclear dead in about any second. So. Yeah, right. So you had a little innocence on one side and fear on the other. So. Right. So that's that's how this this song came to be. And um, I have always wanted to get a song, a, a copy of this song to Mrs. Matt, and I've never been able to do it. But I did get a copy of it to uh, the sports announcer, Bob Costas. Oh, Bob Costas. Uh, because I had heard, you know, Mantle was his hero right. and that he carried in his wallet a baseball card of Mickey Mantle. <laughs> so somehow, some way, I got a, a okay. copy of this CD to him and I actually got a response from him wow. in, my, in my keepsakes. Wow. Uh, uh, that is so awesome! Yeah, I thought it was kind of cool. Yeah, it's a super a, a hero a hero of a hero. Okay, that that, that Bob Costas is you know really well known even by me, which yeah. is and I'm not I'm not a uh, Mister Mister Know All the Sports People. Fan. Yeah, well, but anyway, so let's listen to Mickey's Gone. Here, here we're going to listen to Mickey's Gone. That's Mickey Mantle, right? My coffee's cold And Mickey's gone Life's turned another page 